Hello, everybody. Uh, we're going to go through a little review, go over that worksheet that you were assigned uh, in the last class after the measuring. We go, this is the ruler we started off with, with our measuring practice. Now we had four answers that we wanted you to go through and find. Uh, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you go through and do it. Uh, if you have done it and you weren't sure what the way the answers came out or there are some comments left on the paper and you knew those answers weren't correct. Let's, we're going to go through them really quick to make sure that you have a good understanding of them. Let's start with A. Now when we look at where A is, we see that A is underneath one inch. So that means there's nothing that's going to go in the inch spot this time from our measuring steps. So we go right to step number two. We write down 16 and we put the fraction bar over it. Then we count the lines. We count starting with the first small mark after the beginning of the ruler. One, two, three, four. We put this number over the top of the 16. Now, when we look at the top number, we see that it's an even number. Even numbers can be reduced. So in this case, we look at the top and we say, hey, will two go into four evenly? Yes. Will 4 go into 4 evenly? Yes. Will 8 go into 4 evenly? No. So in this, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide by 4, the biggest number that goes into both of these. When we do this, we get 16 divided by 4, which is 4. 4 divided by 4, which is 1, leaving us 1 fourth. When we go to B, we... Now notice that the measurement is past the first inch. So remember, we always go back and write down the previous inch. In this case, we would write down the number one. Then we'd do the same we did before. We'd put our 16 with our fraction bar. And to get the top number of the fraction, the parts out of the total, we'd start with the first small mark after the inch line and we'd count each of the inch lines till we got to the one that the one B is pointing to. In this case, it would be 12. We write the 12 on the top of the fraction, telling us we have 12 out of the 16 equal pieces. Now, when we look at this, we see that 12 is also an even number. So we're going to reduce this number by once again dividing by 4. 4 is the biggest number that goes into both 12 and 16 evenly. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 16 divided by 4 is 4, leaving us with 1 and 3 fourths. On to C. Now when we look at C, we see that we're now past the second inch. So the first thing we're going to do is remember we write down the previous inch. In this case, the inch that comes before C is 2. The next step's always the same. Write down the 16 with the fraction bar. Now, we're going to count up the lines, starting with the first small mark after the second inch. Remember, they always restart when we go past the inch line. That first small mark is counted as 1. If we count each of the marks till we get to C, we would come up with 9, 2 and 9 sixteenths. Now when we look at 9, we see 9 is an odd number. Odd numbers can't be reduced evenly when we have an even number on the bottom of the fraction. Remember, the top and bottom have to be reduced by the same thing. So in this case, that measurement is 2 and 9 sixteenths. We don't have to reduce anything. The last one. D. Now we look where D is and we see that the previous inch in front of D is 4. We're going to do the same thing we always do. We're going to start our fraction by putting 16 with a fraction bar over it. Then we're going to start counting with the first small mark after the 4 inch. That small mark once again is a 1. We count 1, 2, 3. We write down 3. We have three of the 16 equal pieces. Three is an odd number, 
So we know it can't be reduced, just like in the C, the answer for C, that couldn't be reduced. This one can't be reduced either. So that measurement is 4 and 3 sixteenths. Now, hopefully this will help you if you didn't quite understand it, if you gave it an honest try on the paper and watched the previous video. What I'd like you to do right now is another few practice just to make sure you're on top of things, uh, especially if you're having some trouble and see if you can figure out what you don't understand or what you're doing wrong. Uh, so let's start off with E. I'm going to give you a minute on your own to write down E. If you need to pause the video here, you can while you do your work. Okay, when we look at the answer for E, we're going to see that when we go to the previous inch, it's going to be 2. When we go back towards the beginning of the ruler, so we will write down the inch 2. Once again, we write down the denominator of our fraction, which is still 16, with a fraction bar over it. And now we're going to count the lines. Remember, we start with the first small line after the inch. We count each line till we get to the one the arrow is pointing to. And if we do that, we get 6. 6 is an even number. When we look at 6, we say, hey, will 2 go into 6 evenly? Yes. Will 4 go into 6 evenly? No. Will 8 go into 6 evenly? No. So the biggest number that goes into both 6 and 16 is the number 2. So we'll divide by 2. When we divide by 2, we get 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3, 16 divided by 2 is 8, so the answer is 2 and 3 eighths. Let's try another practice with F. Once again, I want you to take some time to try it on your own to make sure you're getting these answers correct. I'll give you a minute. If you want to pause the video here, that's a great idea. Okay, so now that you've taken the time to try this one out, you'll see when we go to F, the previous inch is 3. We're going to write down 3. Then we're going to continue 16 with the fraction bar over it. As always, we count our lines. Remember, we start with the first small mark after the inch once again. And in this case, we get 2. 2 is an even number. Will 2 go into 2 evenly? Yes. Will 4 go into 2 evenly? It won't reduce 2. And 8 won't reduce 2 either. So 2 is the biggest number that goes into both 16 and 2. When we divide by 2, we wind up getting the inch, 3. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So the correct answer was 3 and 1 8. We have one more practice for you. Here's G. Once again, if you need to pause the video for a second to try to write down your work, then we'll pick it up with G in a second. Okay, so with that, the first thing we're going to look, when we look at G, we are, the previous inch is Five. So we're going to start off by writing down the 5. Then we add, we write the 16 with the fraction bar, like we always do. And then we count the lines. Remember, we start with the first small mark after the 5 inch. We count each line till we get to the one the arrow is pointing to. In this case, it would be 7. Now, 7 is an odd number. Once again, if we have an odd number over an even number, number in a fraction that is in its lowest terms. We can't reduce that fraction any farther. So the correct answer for G was 5 and 7 sixteenths. Now, when you guys go through this and you can figure out how you do all these measurements, there is a quiz. This quiz will be graded this time and will count as a quiz grade, not just a classwork grade. So you'll see the quiz with the video 
in the newest assignment. Do your best on that. Make sure you turn it in when you're done. I'll grade it and get it back to you as soon as I can. Hope you have a great day. See you next time.